Hi, and welcome to the School of Energy, where learning energy principles is simple. I'm Professor Principal, and in today's lesson, we're going to learn about the principle known as water up, fire down, which refers to the balance of hot and cold energy circulation in our bodies. Yeah. Professor Principal is here for you. To start today's lesson, let me ask you a simple question. Between your head and your abdomen, which one do you think works well when it's cool, and which one works well when it's warm? Yes, that's right. Aren't you a smarty hand? As you may already know, your head or your brain works well when it's cool, and your abdomen when it's warm. Your brain is like the CPU inside of a computer, and if you look, it has these cooling fans to keep it functioning properly. But even if it gets about 2 or 3 degrees warmer than its temperature threshold, it could possibly damage all of its operations. On the other side of the spectrum, if your internal organs around the abdominal area are cold or stiff, you may experience things like constipation, diarrhea, indigestion, and all sorts of problems. Kind of like a pipe that's clogged or frozen. Whether it's the human body or even in nature, there's a fundamental dynamic of energy that's maintained by the balance of hot and cold. For example, to have a well-circulating environment, the warm sun rays travel down towards the earth, which in turn allows water to evaporate and travel upwards. Or in this tree, water is pulled up from the roots and the warm energy from the sun is absorbed and travels down from the leaves. And that's what makes a healthy tree. You can think of it this way. Does cool air rise or fall? It falls. And of course, hot air rises like this. And if left alone, the heat will stay up and the cool will stay down, resulting in what we call heat equilibrium. In this state, there's no circulation. However, in all organisms that are functioning well, the cool energy will go up and the warm energy will go down. Kind of going against the grain, huh? But in this state, there's circulation and it generates the dynamic state which we call life. Well, you know what I mean. When the hot and cold energy flows properly like this, your body will feel relaxed, your heart peaceful, and your mind clear and focused. In essence, you create the state of a happy cow. Well, not this kind of happy cow. This kind of cow, where you have a cool head, an open heart, and a warm abdomen. But in this busy modern world, it can be very easy to lose your cool due to various outside stressors which can then turn you into a very unhappy cow. You see, everyday stressors can create tension in the neck and shoulders and block the energy channels in the chest, reversing the dynamic flow of energy and then forcing the heat energy to move up to the head area. Because of heat displacement, the cool energy starts to gather in the lower parts of the body. And when your energy doesn't circulate well like this, then it becomes stagnant and you become closer to death. Well, at least you start to feel a lot unhealthier. Death. When your head is hot and your gut is cold, it can lead to all sorts of icky problems, such as allergies, constipation, diarrhea, headaches, fevers, insomnia, depression, heart problems, colitis, etc, etc. But there is a way to fix this. To get back to the state of a happy cow, where you have a cool head, an open heart, and a warm abdomen, here are three simple things you can do. Number one, bring your attention and focus down to your lower abdomen by tapping it. Wherever your mind goes, energy follows. By stimulating your abdomen through tapping, you're forcing your mind to go there. Number two, shake your neck to release tension of your upper back and shoulders. This will release the tension in your back, shoulders, and chest, 
allowing heat to go down. Number three, smile and breathe out. Breathing out will help you to release any excessive heat energy from your head. And smiling will make your brain cool and happy. Using these tools with regular practice, you can master the balance of hot and cold energies in your body. Just give it a try and you'll feel great. So there you have it, the principle of water up, fire down. And now you know how to be a happy cow. I'm Professor Principal. See you next time.